Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Gucci gang. Spread their rats on new chain. My bitch love do cocaine. Ooh, I fuck a bitch, I forgot name. I can't. What's good, man? It's your boy Southside Low. I'm here. I just got home. Got 2K up, and of course, you know the patch, the patch update has been sent out to the PS4. Um, I, last time I saw, I wasn't sure if it was actually uh, put out on the Xbox One and everything, but I know it went off the PS4, so I know everything else is coming soon. But anyway, let's get into it, man. Um, just to go over a couple things, man, showing exactly what this patch is doing. Looks like it's shit. Like, it has nothing to do with like, anything important, but uh, it is what it is, man. So the first star is they got the classic uniforms for Bucks, Hornets, Lakers, and Suns um, have been added to the game. Shit, got five new shoes. Oh, they got the dad the uh, triple Bs, the ZO2s. So they got the ZO2s on there. So Lonzo's on there. Primes, Jordan, CP3, X's, A's, Jordan, Superfly, 2017. Oh, shit. Phone posits, Kobe's, and Kobe AB's. And let's see. Got some improvements to the to the lab interface, the user interface. Doesn't matter. New cat facial hair, so they got 18 new beards, two mustaches, and introducing uh, eight facial stubble styles. So you know, girth. Uh, so the creator play it adjusts it adjusts now with the girth when you adjust the weight. So you can see the difference of how big a guy is. Added eyebrows, so they got some new eyebrows. Detroit Pistons court floor updated. Doesn't matter. Orlando, Orlando Magic courts updated. Okay. Player names are no longer cut off in the uniform editor when creating the uniform. See, for gameplay, the number of left ankle injuries now have been greatly reduced. Added more variety to the types of injuries that can occur in a game. Attempting icon passing while posting up will no longer disengage you from the post. That actually means some um, more responsive triple threat moves when crowded. So maybe the triple threat will make you get a little more balance when you're making moves. Um, fix the dribbling issue that would cause escape crosses and hesitation to sometimes face out with. I hope they fix that whole shit. I hope they fix that whole shit, bro. Because when it comes to handling, sometimes you get caught up in the traffic and the animations. And, uh, and you can't even do what you're doing, what you're supposed to do. You want to cross over, get out of that. So whatever dealing with the issues with hesitation, escapes, whatever, man. Fix all that dribbling and shit, man. This got problems. Problems. Made catching passes in the corner more reliable. Well, that's cool. Made some improvements to the screen system to improve re re reliability and user control. Added several off-ball ride denied animations. And improve user control and visual fidelity. All right. Fixed an issue with putback layups that would put sometimes, what would sometimes cause them to hit the front of the rim or the bottom of the backboard. Good. Whatever putback layups, my big nigga, because my nigga don't be slamming like that for some reason. He big as shit, but he's not a beast. Okay. He does his little putback shit, and this shit be going on the front of the rim, bounce on the back of the rim. Don't make no sense because he's too fucking tall and too fucking big to be missing this shit. Um. Fix the bug that will cause the defenders to pop up while lying down on the ground after a hard foul, okay? Various improvements to the teammate calling grade, the grading system. That's I like that. Fix issues where defenders were set to gap, ignoring user and ACE settings. Okay? Fix the hang that would occur when the ball boy picked up the ball while it's in play. After foul animations updated to prevent hands from flipping in the head of another player. When the offensive team wins the jump ball, the shot clock should now be reset. Okay, address the case where the defensive settings inside the coach's clipboard were not sticking after being changed, and fix the player issue where the losing team would sometimes celebrate with the winning team. I seen that on YouTube. They had to join YouTube. My fucking Kevin Durant was celebrating, <laughs> celebrating with the Thunder. That shit was funny. Let's see. All right, for my career, good. All right, on-court shoes are now free for those given a, sh a shoe company, which are my player, that you have a contract with. All right, cool. Updating my court murals for Thunder, Bulls, blah, blah, blah. Support, support for subtitles has been added on the on-court interviews. 
All right. The user's VC balance will now correctly display the current VC total in the post-game recap following a played NBA game where the received teammate grade was D plus or lower. Okay. Uh, Xbox One, Silver, and PS4 non-plus users can now play my court drills and AI players they invite over. The in-game frame rate will no longer no longer hiccup when the my matchup overlay is on the screen. Fix the hang that could occur when the coach caught the ball during the live practice. Whatever. Um, the shot meter will now display when taking shots outside of the court while playing horse in my court. Right? Logos for the events of the event calendar app on the 2K phone should now always appear alongside the correct event. Carl Anthony Towns' pregame scene will no longer repeat itself. Okay, every time you play him, great. Fix the hang that would occur when selecting the I'm always in rhythm answer upon David Aldridge asking asking you how you were able to find your rhythm during the game. Okay. Alright, we had the playground now, man. The important shit. You know what I mean? Alright. New player edition, NBA, Nike jerseys, and more. Wade, Carmelo, Isaiah Thomas, D Rose, everybody. So all the new people that got traded and shit. They got new new jerseys. The display VC balance should now correctly match what was earned after a playground game. Of course it should. A number of performance and performance and stability improvements for the Ruffles event. Cool. Controller settings now apply to playground games. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Absolute, baby. Absolute. Gamer tags will no longer cover the turbo meter in playground games. I ain't seen that, but right. fix the stutter that would occur when people are playing on the courts and some someone levels up. The correct score will now be attributed to the correct team during in-process pro in playground games when queued up on Got Next. Shots will no longer queue up when you're playing the mini ball game in 2K zone, making it easier to develop a smooth rhythm. The Huda Guard indicator has been redesigned to make it easier for you to quickly identify offensive players before you should be guarding. I like that. Because some niggas act like they have no idea who they should be guarding. Shit makes no sense. They run around everywhere but their players. So yeah, fix that shit. Player signature walks that now incorporated basket incorporated basketball will now correctly draw the ball when performing in the playground area. Alright. Pro Am resolve Pro Am accessory issues prohibited from the showing up correctly in the closet. User will no longer earn progress toward their badges and cap breakers. Fix the case where users were not getting paid their full VC amount at the pro -am games. Now the team quits out of pro -am, the remaining team will no longer obtain the badge for progress and progress of the team that quit out. Okay. The team overall will now calculate correctly on the loading screen of the pro -am game when there is at least one CPU player on the team and fix the issue where the arena changes would fail to apply be applied the first time save changes and exit was selected when attempting to make changes to your pro -am team arena. Alright. This too much, man. Man, they got some my team stuff in here, man. <laughs> They got some damn my, my GM shit, my league. Hey, man, I went over the damn playground, my career, all that shit, man. All this shit right here. To be honest with you, man, this patch is some shit. It just started. Just just finished, man. This patch is some shit, man. You know, 2K, hey, you need to fix it. Man, you know what you need, you need to be on here? What needs to be on here is you fucking fixing the uh, squad up. The squad invites. We shouldn't have to go ahead and send a freaking invite twice every damn time just to get people to squad up. It should be very simple. It is fucked up on the squad invites, man. It's horrible. And they, and also how you freaking get people to come and freaking play at, at your park. Like, that whole invite shit is, is, is weak as fuck. I don't know why they even sent it like that, but it is what it is. But anyway, man, that's the uh, patch 1.04. Hopefully Xbox got it now. Hopefully uh, Switch and everybody got it now. Um, but we in there, man. We back grinding, man. We back getting it. Appreciate the support. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you follow. Make sure you like. Make sure you comment. Let me know what you think. Holla at your boy, man.